Hey everybody, what's up? This is Gary Gary here with a review on the Amazon Basics 12 sheet cross cut shredder. Now, the main purpose of this video is to let you know that you, yes, can use a paper shredder to shred cardboard. So, if you're doing vermiculture, you know, worm farming, or if you're like me, I have a small yard and a barrel compost bin. So to get the carbon into the uh, compost bin, I don't have sawdust and a ton of leaves and things like that, and a bunch of yard work uh, that I accumulate that I can throw in there. So I use cardboard. Um, you can also use newspapers and stuff like that, but who has a ton of newspapers? I don't. Uh, but I do get a lot of stuff from Amazon. So this is the Amazon Basics. Like I said, it's the 12 sheet. You've got a couple of different settings here. This is... Um, basically off standby and you can go ahead and just go for it there um, do you want to show you the blades because it is a cross cut let's go ahead sorry about the video there guys so that's what we're talking about when we're talking about cross cut it cuts it doesn't just shred it it cuts it multiple ways so bear with the camera shaking here I'm gonna try to grab this and this thing was heavy by the way guys it's got some I mean, it's got some weight the red light comes on saying it was not it was misaligned which is a nice safety feature so let's go let's get right to it let's cut some cardboard up now the cardboard I'm using is basic uh, Amazon boxes okay your standard cardboard this isn't the really thick stuff if you're getting you know heavy-duty things like that in the mail it's going to be obviously much a much thicker I cut these strips with the works uh, zip snip and I have a video review on that as well you can guys can check out so I basically just cut them into strips big enough to fit in here let's fire this puppy up and go to town problems no problems at all again typical standard Amazon box That's what you're in there and let it rip so this thing will automatically shut off obviously when uh, when there's nothing being fed into it now that last one in there The, the, the key to longevity, now, full disclaimer, I have not been using this thing for a year to shred cardboard. So, will it last a year or more? I don't know. But what I do know is don't run it more than five minutes because this thing will overheat. So, I actually set a kitchen timer for five minutes and then I just go to town because I already have my pre-cut cardboard. So, don't use it more than five minutes. If you do, once you use the five minutes, shut it off and let it cool for at least an hour. These, these motors will burn out real quick. So now the other thing, yeah, so that's that's the big thing. Five minutes at a time, okay? So cut your strips and then just, you know, whatever, every day or however often you need to do it, just don't overdo it with the motor because you'll kill it. Um, what was I going to say? The other thing, what was I going to say? Oh, the blades. I don't... Um, I don't know how to oil the blades quote unquote organically so if you do leave a comment below I'm sure there's research you you I mean you could probably use like coconut oil or something right it's all natural lubricant for those blades because you do want to oil these blades but again I mean this was 50 bucks I'll have to check I'll put a link down below um, but no problem And then you have a view window here. So this thing will fill up. So I want to show you guys what I do with it. This is a garbage bag. I'll just put it down here on the ground. Full of your shreds. All your standard basic cardboard. Mostly Amazon boxes and things like that. So that's you just fill this thing up. So 
This is what I use in my compost because uh, I put a lot of vegetables and things like that with the nitrogen, but I don't have enough carbon dead leaves and things like that. So this works great. Um, I believe also if you're, you know, if you're raising worms and things like that, you can, this is good for that as well. I don't know. It's like, I don't do that. But I hear it's good. So it must be true. It was on the internet. Um, anyway, so that's what you end up with. Good stuff. So I just saved this, and if, I have to, if I'm starting a new compost, um, that's a great base because you want two parts carbon and one part nitrogen when you're composting. So that is again, your Amazon Basics. Uh, it's a 12 sheet, 50, 60 bucks. I will put a link and then I'll also put a link. Uh, I did a review, like I say, I'll throw a link for the works cutter. So no, on the cardboard strips, no, no tape nothing like that uh, just just the cardboard so I cut it into strips obviously to fit this guy here some people I know will try to like rig this and cut it open and make it wider I don't use the thick cardboard just your basic cardboard boxes corrugated stuff and works like a charm just don't use it for more than five minutes at a time without letting that thing cool for an hour so that's all I got thanks for watching uh, please share like subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video